Well, there is just a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. I mean, things like gold mines, things like safe trading cities. Uh, like I say, I built the Titanic, uh, or had, had the Titanic built. I had the Belfast Yards and stuff like that. And what that really came down to really is, is I had my safe cities, basically. Um, there will be pictures of, of, of the old, um, uh, what's called, riveted tanks, tanks they, they they really couldn't get across the desert that well but they could get to a town or city and they were kind of like they, they'd be put sometimes at the at the front of a city or something or at the or at the gate of a city and they would just keep marauders or people from coming into the town you know like check your swords at at, at, the, at the gate kind of thing or like there's a tank a regiment and they would just be stationed there for a while and basically everybody would check their weapons at the door, you know, pretty much because this was a safe trading city, you know, where people could come in, sell their goods, have money, whatever, or bank maybe or something in the back wall or something like that. I forget exactly how they did it or whatever. But I had my safe trading cities um, where I would put tanks there or troops or, you know, it probably extent goes from Roman times into modern day because like. I was trying to do civilization. I was trying to trying to do a safe place to trade and stuff like that, and that's kind of what the Romans did, and kind of one of the things. And then I did it kind of with the British things, where it's like weapons at the door, you know, and there would be a tank and a regiment there, and um, <clears throat> you know, just like twelve guys that lived in the city or whatever, and walls around, so uh, so, so no one could get in from the sides that easily. They'd have to dig in or something like that. Um, and I had my safe cities. Quotations. Um, and these cities had walls, you know, kind of like forts. Forts also doubled as trading places or back, you know, multi-use kind of thing. So over the years, you know, it changed. Um, yeah, I just like build it. And then, you know, like I said, I collected people. I mean, uh, <laughs> I would say build this, people would be safe. You know, commerce would, would, would commence. Sometimes there'd be raiders, and then they would go to, to, to the safe trading places or something. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's life, it's it's civilization, it's people, it's it's everything that everything is. So, um, so I had my safe trading cities and stuff like that, where I would put a tank at the door, or or put a couple tanks there, or something like that, or have a regiment, or provide air support, or something. You know, just to kind of you know keep the peace, so civilization can happen. You know, like. Like, like trying to give civilization a chance, pretty much. Um, so farmers could farm their fields, and then, you know, and then somebody wasn't, like, taking a third of their food or something like that. Although I took food to myself because, you know, I had troops myself, so. But my troops built things, which just kind of, like I said, <clears throat> I wasn't a drag on the system. I just, you know, <clears throat> whenever I used troops, my troops would be fed. And that's another thing, whenever, whenever I got, whenever my... Whenever I needed troops, it was like, yeah, sure, here. <clears throat> How much food do you need? We'll feed them. No problem. Like, whenever I needed anything done, it was like, oh, yeah, no problem. How many do you need? 5,000? Okay, no problem. Here you go. 5,000 troops. I was like, okay, go build an aqueduct. And then <laughs> aqueduct built or something like that. Because people, after after a short period of time, they knew if Lucifer asks, then um, me, Lucifer. If I ask, then... Um, then... Then... Uh, then you're going to get an aqueduct or you're going to get a power station or you're going to get, you know, life becomes because of me. So, you know, not just, you know, you're, you're going to get an aircraft or you're going to get something that resembles resemb 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 civilization. So, and even then, like, like I had been providing tank support or men or something. And when I didn't do it, then one of my groups, you know, after humanity kind of got the idea of what civilization was. Then it was just like, oh yeah, we're all doing it, no problem. And it's like, oh, look at you. <sighs> I remember those days when I was young and small and just starting out as a little emperor. You know, and um, and now I'm the great and powerful, well, not so powerful, but I'm the great Lucifer. So, um, the great emperor, the great old emperor of the past. The one that got nuked. Um, anyway, now I'm, now I'm like... More than legendary, like I am, like ridiculous. So like a whole planet that is basically about me, pretty much. I can walk and see old projects almost everywhere, except for the young people. So 
anyway, but yeah, um, yeah, I had my safe trading cities and it's ancient Rome and Egypt. I have, you know, there's road one out there too. And road seven, the oh, road seven, my, my seventh road that I ordered built with my money. Roman times. Like it goes back thousands, like 10,000 years. There's a road. There's a road out there. Like, like I say, there's a road. It's stone or something like that. And it was like my my epic road. It's only like 30, like 300 feet long or something like that. Or something like that. It was this, it was, in, it's in this ancient, ancient Roman city. Like it was one of my epic cities. Like I had, I had a couple cities where I would pile people, you know, if you thought the pyramids were cool, I had these epic cities, so. And they're like 10,000 years old or something like that. And ridiculous age. You know, it goes back to the very beginning of civilization. So, ah, those were the days, you know. The days of inventing the plow and everything else. And then thousands of inventions later and stuff like that. And, and leading a couple countries and stuff. And now I can sit back and go, memories of my old die. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, yeah. Anyway, yeah, those were my old, old, old things. And there's thousands of other decisions, and and other people also made decisions likewise, like me. Nah, people who generally just kind of like followed my footsteps. Like, oh, this is the way to civilization. Okay, left here, right here, turn left here, go down that street. Okay, and then back. Okay, okay, and civilization. Yeah. And then once, like I say, once I started doing it, then everybody was like, whoosh. It was like, yeah. I mean, yeah. Like that. <laughs> oh, the first days of struggling and getting people into civilization. And then, like I say, and then, and then it just, it's huge. And there's like seven billion of you, and I'm like, wow, that's a lot. That's a lot, a lot, 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 lot. That's a lot of people. All for me. All for my little roads and my little civilization, my little food. Wow. Anyway, I think yeah. Yeah, it was a long time ago. So, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like I say, I'm more real than real. I'm so real that most people, like, your mouth, your jaw would drop like, it's like, yeah, you know, those were the days. Not a big deal. It's not really a big deal. Yeah, you know, I mean, just a couple of my inventions, really. I mean, then once it got going, then I was like, oh, yeah, yeah sure. Just... Like, why didn't you ask for a flight? Oh, you want to fly? Oh, that's no problem. Oh, yeah. Took me a minute. Actually, it's funny when you're when you've never seen an airplane and you're inventing a wing for the first time. It is actually a problem, especially if you also don't think about mathematics either. If you just try and just do it. I used to prop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. I'm like yeah. <laughs> uh you know, the future is a lot more fuzzy and happy than not in the past. But there were great victories. I mean, my planes flying overhead and dealing with people and stuff. So, one thing nice about aircraft, too, is that they could just scare people, generally. Not actually, like, like at first I told my pilots, don't actually shoot them, just kind of get them diverted, like herd them away from, away from the town. Like, nope, you're not going in there. You know, that kind of thing. We tried not to kill people. Like I say, I tried, my people tried, we tried to be pacifists as long as we could. Until, well, they made it real. They took it to the next level where they started slaughtering our towns or our cities. And then, and then it's like, alright, we're just going to have to take it to the next level too. So, they escalated first and then I had to escalate after, so. Like I say, I wasn't the kind of person that started fights, but I finished them. So, same as America, really. <laughs> anyway, now lots of people will carry on in my in my stead. Like I don't even have to run any things anymore. It's just automatic. So, anyway, yeah.